Welcome our everybody to our experiment this week uh, for uh, MEC 340 and fluid mechanics. What you would need for today's experiment is you need a wooden stick. Uh, it could be some coffee stirrer or if you don't have that get a kitchen spoon, wooden spoon or if you don't have that go to the tree get a tree twig. So anything would work. Uh, you would need a weight um, to make this power buoy, so this is our power buoy experiment. So I got a stone from the garden. If you don't have that, well, you probably would have that. Uh, paper clip, a metallic object to add to the end to make a power buoy. Uh, if you don't have that, you can use a battery to add the weight if, for the larger object. Or you can even use a metal pin or even a paper clip. So all these would work. Then you may, you need a measuring tape to measure distances. You'll need a water, transparent water container, some water in a bucket. Um, you'd also need uh, your uh, mobile phone camera to take pictures uh, as well as to take a video of the process that we're going to do right now. And not necessarily, but if you have it, that's good. But if you don't have it, then uh, you don't need it. A weighing scale, a kitchen weighing scale, so that you can uh, measure the weight of uh, your weight. Um, so that's your uh, weighing scale. So you can put the scale on um, to measure the weight or the battery, depending on the size of your uh, stick as well as its weight. Okay, so what are we doing with our spar buoy experiment? So we want to make a spar buoy. We had that in chapter two, so let's do that. So get the stick. Let's get those out of the way. Get your, get the wooden stick. Get the weight. Take either glue them to each other with crazy glue. Or here I'm taking one of those bread ties or a cable tie. It adds as, it adds a little bit more weight, and then tie them together. Um, so let me see how to do that. So tie. So tie the weight to the end of um, the wooden stick. Great. So that's what you get. Stick it in the water, um, in the empty container, transparent container. Have someone hold, or you can hold the phone as you're doing that. Go into video mode and take videos and just add water and what you'll see um, is that I hope you can see this is that you would have uh, the heavy end uh, grounded so sticking to the bottom while the light end uh, is uh, floating so this is a spar buoy if you don't want to make things too messy you can just get a cup and just add water bit by bit and that's what you want to do so now at each uh, instant in time, every time you add some extra water in there, what you want to do is measure the... Um, so you would have a measuring tape, right? And you want to measure uh, how much the depth of the submerged object, so the depth of the water, how much of the stick is sticking out and how much of it is submerged. And you would have already measured the length beforehand before you start your experiment, the length of the stick. So you add water and now you'll see that, so I'm going to move it to the side so that you can see it. What you'll notice is that uh, your spar buoy has an angle uh, but you don't want it to be touching the side because that's an extra um, force that we don't want to look at. And then your camera is looking from the side so here you can actually see my spar, I hope you can see it. Here you can see my spar buoy and the weight. Um, you measure angles. So as you're taking videos, then we can analyze the video uh, later on uh, in time. Very good. So that's our experiment is we want to analyze this um, inclination angle as a function of water depth. Um, we want to do it to two, for two types of buoys. Uh, the first type of buoy is a floating buoy, which is actually the natural one. So if I fill this up, you 
you'll see that my buoy, so here your angle actually changes as you add more water. Um, but you want to have a side view for the, uh, for the image. Uh, and if you keep adding, I don't have enough water, but if you keep adding water, so let me put the um, weight in the middle, so just to demonstrate the concept, and you'll see that this thing floats, right? So it floats. Uh, so that's the first type of buoy we want, we want to do, and this is the natural type of spar buoy. Let's modify this and add a little bit extra, uh, some extra weight. So I'm going to get the paper clip, add this weight, and this is only for demonstration. You don't want to have your weight in the center, but to show you, uh, when I add some extra weight and stick it in the water, it would actually sink. Um, so, not the best demonstration. All right, so you get the idea. So it would actually sink. And we want to analyze those two types of buoys. Now that we know that we have one that sinks and one that floats, you go back and put the weight towards the end, and that would be your spar buoy. You want to analyze the angle for a uh, for the case um, where you have a floating buoy and for the case where you have a sinking sort of uh, buoy that is that has an overall density larger than the density of water. And you want to fill it all the way. Uh, so you want your experiment to start from horizontal all the way until you get to vertical, um, uh, until the whole, uh, the top end of the stick is submerged in water or at the surface of the water. So that's our experiment. Get going on that, guys. Thank you.